Hey folks, last week I shared from Proverbs chapter 14, verse 4, which is one of my favorite scriptures in the, in the Bible. And we talked about where there is no oxen, the stable stays clean, but with much oxen comes much increase. The first part that we talked about last week was sterility. Where there are no oxen, the stable stays clean. Some parents are so concerned about having the right homeschooling appearance that they forget to let their kids be who they are. Those folks are very sensitive to other people's opinions, jumping through their hoops. And folks, that will not produce God's work of grace in your kids' hearts. What we're after is the second part of that, that verse. But with much oxen comes much increase. Now that word but is conjunction and basically it means to forget about that which is before the conjunction and emphasize that which follows, which we label productivity. God wants us to be productive, or if you choose the word fruitful, in our homeschooling experience. Now there are dozens of things that we could say about what helps make for a productive homeschooling experience. Let me give you three quick thoughts today. We'll call it the attitude, the process, and the result of much of much oxen. The attitude that's so needful in the homeschooling experience is joy. And our kids will feed off of our parental joy. If we have a, a sweet spirit, if we are encouraging, if we, if we see the best and the worst, our kids will pick up on that. They'll be more relaxed in their homeschooling experience and it will produce more in their lives as well. So we want to have the right attitude, an attitude of joy. Secondly, we want to have the right process. And that process in the scriptures, folks, is usually a process of making messes. When you have a lot of oxen, you're going to have a big manure pile. That's just part of it. And I believe we're so busy trying to avoid problems and messes, we forget to understand that God ordains those messes in our lives. We need to embrace those and see those as a gift from God rather than, oh, Satan's just attacking me today. No, God uses processes. He uses messes to get his kingdom work done in our lives because thirdly, the result is we're more humble, we're more dependent, and we are more prayerful. And that's the best remedy or the best recipe for a successful, productive homeschooling experience, to be humble before God to know we're dependent upon Him. Yes, we use curriculum. Yes, we have cooperative activities, but folks, those kids can't change, those things can't change the leper spot. It can't change the, the Ethiopian skin. Only a work of Jesus Christ can do that. And so that comes about through humility, dependency, and prayerfulness. So I hope this makes sense. As you have your homeschooling experience, Let's resist the temptation to be sterile, just to look good. Let's seek to be good, and by that, see God produce great things in our homeschooling experience. This is Kirk Smith with ICHE's Take 5.